मॉड्यूल फोर सर्च एंड ब्राउज इंटरफेस इन डिजिटल लाइब्रेरी हेलो वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला दिस मॉड्यूल इज ऑन सर्च एंड ब्राउज इंटरफेस इन डिजिटल लाइब्रेरी द इंटरफेस ऑफ अ डिजिटल लाइब्रेरी प्लेज अ वाइटल रोल इन डिस्कवरिंग इट्स कंटेंट browse and search interface connects a user to the digital library as such success of a digital library lies with the design search and browse functionality of the digital library the objective of this chapter is to discuss the following aspects of interface designing in digital library with examples number 1 interface designing of digital library with some basic principles searching functionalities provided in varieties of digital libraries and common search options browsing options provided in digital library with different architecture and search results representations in case of traditional libraries the role of a librarian is to enrich and organize the library collections so as to enable users to locate individual items easily likewise the primary aim of a digital library is to guide its users to quickly identify the most reliable and suitable digital items whether they are stored in its own collection physically or to provide access to content from other digital libraries located at a remote location in traditional libraries the users search for their desired information sources by searching the physical catalog or the online catalog opac in case of automated libraries and locate them on shelves but in case of digital libraries the digital items may be available on a number of servers distributed on different physical locations the interface of a digital library is the sole medium which directly interacts with the users for discovering the collection and content stored in a digital library and catering to the information needs of the users the user interface is the part of a computer and its software that people can see hear touch talk to or otherwise understand or direct so the interface designs need to be guided by an assessment of user needs and aim to maximize interaction with primary resources and support both browsing and analytical search strategies arms has given a conceptual model of interface design therefore consists of four components interface design functional design data and metadata computer systems and networks the conceptual model for interface design emphasizes that interface design encompasses what appears on the screen and how the user manipulates it among its aspects are fonts colors logos keyboard controls menus and buttons functionally the design specifies the functions that are offered to the user typical functions include selecting parts of a digital object searching a list or sorting the results obtaining help and manipulating objects that have been rendered on the screen these functions are made possible by the data and metadata that are provided by the digital library and by the underlying computer systems and networks dillon lists five questions that designers of digital library interfaces should be addressing number 1 how do we attract users to our resources and make them stay what will bring a user back to our resources again 
how do i build an interface that supports a richer comprehension or appreciation of the contents what makes material more learnable by users can novices learn from viewing an expert's construction of an information space since user interface for a digital library must display large volumes of data most effectively and efficiently a user of a digital library should be presented with one or more overlapping windows that can be resized and rearranged intuitive interface to query and receive large amount of data spread through a number of resources ability to change the user's perspective from high level summarized information down to a specific paragraph of a document gallets formulated a set of design principles for design of a user's interface interface design should be aesthetically pleasing and attractive to the eye as interactions primarily are in the visual realm visually conceptually and linguistically clear and unambiguous compatible with the users and the tasks to be accomplished moreover it should be compatible with earlier versions of the system or any other similar kinds of systems in theory this would mean that all digital library interfaces would follow a standard design comprehensible that is easily learned and understood configurable that is easy to personalize configure and reconfigure consistent in the sense of look feel and execution the same action should always give the same result controllable by the user so that actions result from explicit user requests are performed quickly and are interruptible the user should feel that he or she is in charge of the interface direct in the ways in which tasks are accomplished the effect of actions on objects should be visible efficient by minimizing eye and hand movements familiar by using concepts and language that users should know using real world metaphors and building upon users existing knowledge flexible to the differing needs of users in terms of their knowledge and skills experience personal preferences and habits forgiving of common and unavoidable human errors preventing errors whenever possible and providing constructive messages in case of errors predictable on the part of users who should be able to anticipate the natural progression of each task recoverable by allowing reversible actions responsive to user requests with visual textual or auditory acknowledgement simple transparent so that the workings inside the computer or database remain invisible to users sastri and reddy have proposed some principles for user interface design for digital libraries for an effective user interaction and implementation simple the digital library user interface should be simple and straightforward so that basic functions are easily noticeable to the users support the digital library user interface should provide users control over the digital library it has to enable the users to accomplish tasks using any sequence of steps that they would naturally use it should be more event driven than menu driven familiar the user interface of digital libraries should be familiar to its users that is the users should not require special training to perform any task informative feedback the user interface of a digital library must provide informative feedbacks 
to its user during various tasks performed by the user. Design dialogues to yield closure. Informative feedback at the completion of a series of actions. Prevent errors. The user interface should not allow users to make any serious errors. Alternately, the system can be designed as insensitive to errors. It should detect the user errors and offer simple, constructive and specific instruction. Multimedia support. User interface of a digital library should support multimedia information. Profile-based support. The digital libraries may support profile creation and provide customized services based on user preferences. Lith and simple. The user interface of the digital library should be lith and simple without having heavy and unnecessary graphics which may slow the loading of content and create disinterest among users. Pan and Zoom support. It should support the basic pan and zoom features. Accuracy. It should provide as much accurate information as possible as poor display of information, spelling errors and grammatical errors may affect the credibility of the digital library. Efficient searching with NLP support. Digital media should provide efficient search mechanisms with excellent search interface. It should provide natural language analysis and processing techniques for effective and user-friendly searching. Support of Semantic Approach and Resource Description Framework RDF, technologies. Sharing and reusing of information. It should support sharing of the content by various mechanisms. Multilingual support. It should provide multilingual support for searching and displaying regional content. Platform independent. The user interface should be platform independent and work effectively in all environments. Future plugin support. It should support plugins for future developments and interacting with other systems. Search interface. The objective of any search is to encapsulate a user's information need in one or several words, which is the query, and display the resulting matched items. Most digital libraries provide a simple search box as available in any web-based search engine in which users can input their search query or keywords. Simple or basic search. Simple search, often called basic search, is the most common feature available in any digital library, which is the most preferred entry point for discovering its content. For example, the JSTOR archive, an archive of various types of content from journal articles to books, images and others, gives a simple search box for making any free text search query which searches through all metadata fields including full text content. Some digital libraries provide simple search functionality along with options to restrict the search query to specific key metadata fields. For example, as shown in the screenshot for ACS publications, it provides search for anywhere and in key fields. For example, title, author, and abstract. The eThesis library of Library and Archives Canada provides search for name, title, keyword, note, ISBN, among others. Simple search or basic search. Most digital libraries allow the basic search techniques using a simple search box. For example, the Boolean search operators AND, OR, and NOT to broaden or narrow the search results. The wildcard and truncation symbols 
to create searches where there are unknown characters, multiple spellings, or various endings. Proximity search using the near operator for results that contain two or more terms that appear within a specified number of words or fewer apart in the databases. Use of parenthesis for making searches in group. The detailed description of various search techniques is discussed in a separate module, Advanced Search. Digital libraries also provide advanced search functionality for expert users. Digital libraries provide this functionality by either using multiple search boxes to specify the search query or keyword in relation to specific fields like subject, creator, abstract, title, collection type, time period, geographic location, full text, among others, or a plain text box that allows a user to construct his or her search strategy using Boolean operators, proximity operators, parenthesis, among others. The advanced search screen of Science Direct provides multiple search input boxes with the option to select the fields related to search string and selection option for Boolean operators between the fields. It also provides functionalities for limiting the search query to category of material, that is books or journals, selection of subject category and date range, that is the publication years of the content. The Hathi Trust Digital Library provides the option to add additional fields in search query and limiting facilities for publication years, language, and country of origin. Expert search. Some digital libraries like ScienceDirect, JSTOR, and others provide expert search, which is just an extension of the advanced search facility. This does not provide a separate search box, but instead provides options to make a complex search in a simple search box or text box. In an expert search, users have to formulate their query by using field tags, Boolean operators, wildcard characters, and parentheses. For example, the query shown will search for articles of type TY full length article FLA, where the article title TI will contain the phrase American Economic Review, which is not authored AU by Robert. In the similar pattern, users can make complex queries with flexibility of which fields to query for and in which sequence. The abbreviations for different fields varies from interface to interface. Like for querying the article field, one has to write the field tag as TI in JSTOR. Whereas for Science Direct, one has to write the field tag as TTL. So a user has to first refer the help manuals provided by the digital library for creating a complex query. Faceted search. With invention of search engines like Lucene, which generates indices from metadata and full text and retrieves results faster by searching the indices, newer discovery features are added for searching digital libraries. Faceted search provides search and discovery functionality and may include next generation search features such as relevance ranking, spell checking, tagging, enhanced content, and search facets. The facets can be deployed as tools to refine a large number of search results and to narrow down search strategy to specific interest of the users. Search interface. In a nutshell, simple search provides options for searching on all bibliographic fields, 
grouping results by archive or collections and sorting the search results on various fields. Advanced search provides focus on searching specific fields with more complex search queries and filter options. Full text search includes indexing of full text content of the items along with the metadata fields for deeper search. Intelligent search provides intelligent search functionality like auto suggestions, spell checkers, and similar item suggestions. Meta search. Digital libraries are not limited to a single repository of digital objects. Contents of a digital library come from different digital repositories accessible through library portals and resource discovery gateways. To cater to these requirements, digital libraries should incorporate standard and popular federated search protocols for exploring the contents stored in digital libraries. Some important search and retrieval protocols for incorporating search via federated search or meta search solutions in digital libraries are Z39.50, SRU or SRW, the NISO Meta Search XML Gateway, also called MXG, Open Search. In many cases, centralized index are also maintained by harvesting the metadata of relevant sources of information. Some major standards for harvesting of metadata are OAIPMH and METS Browse Interface Another important aspect of information retrieval in digital libraries is the browsing process. The browsing process is to retrieve the desired item from the digital library where the detailed information of the object is not known or there is a lack of clarity in information need of the user. Browsing can be provided by different formats with different entry points. It can be provided through metadata based alphabetical browsing like author, title, keywords or subject categorization. For example, the Library of Congress classification scheme, publisher, publication year, etc. Image browsers available from Smithsonian Library's collection as shown provide effective means for retrieving information in digital libraries containing images and video galleries where search queries may not be very effective in the retrieval of the items. The image browsers can be created in this method where users can view thumbnails for the items in groups of 10, 20 and so on. Page browsers are also a kind of browser which have an important usability in collections where digitized pages are individual images for manuscripts or journals. A typical interface of a page browser can be viewed in the digital library of Villanova University which provides a thumbnail of individual pages on the left panel enabling the user to browse between the index page and the page images to go from one image to the next and zoom in for a detailed view. Display of retrieved information The display of the retrieved information plays a key role for users in evaluating the search results quickly for making decisions in refining the query for relevant results. To support the user, the retrieved search results must be displayed with precision and brevity so that maximum search results can be displayed in a single window, enabling users to select the relevancy of the content as early as possible. An example of the search result page, as shown, gives the brief details of an ebook with the metadata of title, author, publisher, publication date, and keyword. 
among others, along with a cover image of the book for easy identification. It also provides an option to view the table of contents (TOC) of the book on the same screen for further enhancement of the search result. Another example taken from the Hathi Trust Digital Library shows the search results with facets on the left side based on various fields like subject, author, language, place of publication, publication year, etc. For refinement of the search results, for narrowing the search query in case of a large search result sets. Another example from JSTOR archive provides a very informative result set display where the basic information on search results are listed with the option to view a preview of the item with abstract level display along with the view of the full text content highlighting the searched keywords for understanding the context of the keywords available in the item. Interface design for searching and navigation is an important part in digital library. Browse and search interface connects a user to the digital library. To expose the valuable content stored in the digital library, it should be designed in view of the targeted audiences. The support for simple search to sophisticated advanced query search should be taken care of based on the requirements of various types of users. The search and browse interface should have interoperability functionality with supported standards and protocols like Z39.50, SRU-SRW, OpenSearch, OAI-PMH, METS, etc. for exposing the content in aggregated services. Digital libraries with specialized non-textual content pose challenges before the designer to find new options for easy searching and identification of the content stored.